Hi, today I'm going to be showing you my micro project Air Mouse using Arduino Nano and MPU6050 gyroscope sensor. There are many commercial Air Mouse available on the market ranging from 1500 rupees to 3000 rupees and we are going to be building one of our own at the fraction of the cost. We're going to be using an Arduino Nano but any 328 based boards will work a MPU6050 gyroscope sensor, some 10K resistors, push buttons, wires, some wood to construct the project over, and some zip ties to secure the whole project over the wood. The circuit is fairly simple. The MPU6050 is connected to the Arduino at pins A4 and A5 as they are the I2C protocol pins. The buttons are then pulled low using the 10K resistors at the other pin of the button is connected to plus 5 on the Arduino Nano. The buttons are then connected to any 3 digital I.O. pins on the Nano and are later specified on the code. So moving on to the Arduino code, what we now have here is we are going to be downloading and installing some libraries and including them on our code. Here we are going to be defining pin 5, 4 and 6 as left B, right B and mouse B as left button, right button and mouse button. We also declare some integer variables x, y, z and o, x, o, y and o, z. Majorly for calculating the offset values and getting the current data. In void setup, we're going to be initializing the serial begin at 115200 baud rate. We're going to be putting in a serial println for start m, meaning start mouse. We're going to be getting the current gyro offsets and putting them in the variables ox, oy, and oz. Here, we set the pin mode for left button, right button and mouse button as input. We inverse the offset values for later calculation on the void loop. In void loop, we're going to be doing an update command and then we're going to be getting the current angle data and adding it with the inverse offset data to get the current angle data which is relative to the calibrated position. If we click on the mouse enable button, we get the data and we're going to put it in the serial print ln with the identified data l. With the identified data b, if we click on left button and right button, we're going to send the data data b with what mouse was clicked. And the Python script will read it and then do the necessary functions. On the Python script, we're going to be importing some libraries over here, many libraries, serial, and py input so we're going to be doing the serial read add comp 7 and baud rate which was before specified and using a while loop we're going to be reading the serial command i'm sorry the serial port and we're going to be doing some cleaning of the data and then we're going to be identifying if the data l was the identifier of the incoming data which is specified over here and then we're going to be separating those data into a list and we're going to be ta taking the x and y values and moving the mouse using the mouse.move command if the identifier comes as data b which means it, it's a button left and right so you're going to be checking if it's the left button or the right button and do the functions accordingly all of this is inside a try function. If any error comes over, it's gonna print mouse not found or disconnected, and then it's gonna be user waiting for a user input. Press any key to exit. And that's about it for the code. So here is the complete constructed circuit of our air mouse. We have our Arduino Nano connected to the computer via the USB. The MPU6050 connected to the Arduino Nano via these wires. I've also used enameled copper wires so that 
I don't take up much space on this wooden piece of strip. These 10k resistors are used as pull down resistors and I've used a bigger size of micro switch. The other side of the micro switch is connected to the positive section of the Arduino Nano. You can see the complete construction over here up close. The complete board is secured using zip ties. Not an elegant solution, but for quick prototyping, it's very useful. I've also used glue to secure the micro switches onto the wooden board. And that's the complete board done. Now I'm going to show you a demonstration of how this works. Run the Python script now and show you how this device works. So I'm going to be pointing it to my screen and hitting the Arduino Nano reset button for calibration. The calibration is now done and now I can click on the mouse enable button and the mouse starts moving relative to the position of the angle I'm turning it in. When I leave the mouse enable button, the mouse stops moving. I can then control the mouse and then I can position it over a button on the screen and then I click on the left button. Here I am on the desktop, I'm going to be clicking the right button and refreshing the page using my left button I click on it and the page gets refreshed. I'm going to be opening my computer now by double clicking on the button and it gets open. I'm going to be doing another right click and going to my computer properties. And yes, so far it's working perfectly.